Isang mapagpalayang hapon po sa inyong lahat mga kababayan. My name is Janelle Sawyer, kababayan in Los Angeles. And you are watching Kababayan Today. Ito po ang kauna-unahan at kaisa-isang pang-araw-araw na produksyon para sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika. Yesterday, as I've mentioned, uh, some areas have started celebrating the anniversary of the Declaration of Philippine Independence Day, which we celebrate worldwide, Filipinos all over the world. That's on June 12. And today is no different because we're going to be celebrating that today. It's all about Pinoy's as we introduce you to uh, the brand new, she assumed office October 1st, was it October 1st or Halloween, October 31st. Yes. Uh, brand new Philippine Consul General, only the second woman to hold this position, the Honorable Consul General uh, Helen De La Vega or Barbara De La Vega. Hello and welcome to Kababayan today. Thank you so much, Janelle. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate you very much. Your, 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 your uh, show, your talk show is really high there in the marks. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, uh, Consul uh, Barbara De La Vega was actually one of my first few guests when we launched Kababayan LA, still Kababayan LA at that time, in 2006, you were the deputy consul general at yes, the time? Yes, yes, that is yes. right. I still remember. So how has it been since? Like you were de uh, deputy consul general 2006, uh, you left when? I left in 2007. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, by the time we had uh, my predecessor here, Mary Jo Aragon, mm -hmm. who was then Deputy Consul General. And I left in August 2007, mm -hmm. went to the Philippines for one year, and was asked to assume another post in China, in mm -hmm. Beijing, as um, Deputy Consul General, Deputy uh, Chief of Mission and Consul General. Uh -huh. Okay. So I stayed in Beijing just for a year, uh -huh. but uh, I must say a most challenging time. And then unfortunately, our ambassador in uh, Myanmar, uh -huh. that was formerly Burma, passed away. So they were looking for somebody in the region. So um, I was nominated to be the uh, ambassador. So I served in Myanmar as ambassador during its most uh, important years, from September 2009 until October of last year. Right. And afterwards, flew straight to L.A. to become the Consul General here. And why not? We are so honored to have her here because uh, Consul General uh, Barbara De La Vega here comes to us with great, great credentials, graduated cum laude from University of Santo Tomas, and then did further studies even at um, Harvard. Was it at Harvard? Johns, Johns, Johns Hopkins. Hopkins. Yes, okay, the School of Advanced International Studies. Yes, and also uh, your experience here in Los Angeles when you were a vice consul, how is it helping um, your, you with your post now and um, fulfilling your duties? Well, uh, first and foremost, iba talaga yung nandito ka na. Mm. Uh, I mean, um, you know, having stayed here, I think my posting as a consul then was the longest in all the postings that I've been to. So uh, for four years, so there was this uh, great uh, rapport that I had with our community. And I must say that... Um, People say that the more things change, the more people don't change. Okay. And I think the, the warmth, the rapport are, are still there. But then, of course, as in any environment, um, it's a different uh, environment right now. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's not only the United States, but everywhere else around the world, we're facing so many challenges. So I think that it's really important that um, we as a community should also go global, mm -hmm. not only looking at our own community, but how we relate to our other uh, ethnic communities as well. Mm -hmm. Because the problems that we now face today, hindi lang naman pang Pilipinas. Right. Um, for instance, um, especially now that we're the number one Asia Pacific uh, Islander ethnic community dito sa California, I think we will all agree that we become, we are now a major stakeholder mm -hmm. in whatever issues or causes that would affect the Asian American community. You, you think that way, and some progressive individuals from the Philippine American community think that way as well. But would you say that, in general, the Filipinos are, uh, the Filipino community here, members of our, our Kababayan community, are, are moving toward that direction? Or is, is there still very much this mentality of being an immigrant where you establish yourself first, and it's very... Um, very nuclear in your approach. Mm. Alam mo, Janelle, it's not unique to the Filipino community. Lahat ng diasporas around the world went through that transition. Okay? Except that I think what is important to look at right now is how deep is the support of our community 
With each other. With each other. Okay. So dito po mapasok yung issues, for instance, tungkol sa unity. Right. Sa integrity ng mga processes natin. Uh -oh. uh, leadership qualities. Okay. Uh -huh. So what I'm trying to say is that kailangan mas uh, progressive yung mindset natin ngayon. So I'm glad that you raised that issue because I think that one thing that is uh, new to me now is uh, how much na kailangan talaga na ma-integrate natin yung second generation, third generation mm -hmm. ng community right. for these issues. Because um, I, I see that um, there will be new challenges really na importante na maintindihan na ng youth yun. Yes, and we're going to be talking about that also today in the program. But I want to make mention, you mentioned that um, that being nuclear is not just uh, present in the Filipino oh, oh, culture. Oh, oh, so other nationalities oh, as well. Oh. What about other Filipino communities? Since you've been to Tokyo, Beijing, Madrid, Myanmar, are there differences and similarities with the Filipino communities here in Southern California and in those places that I've mentioned? We're going to be talking a little bit more about that also when we return on the show, Don't Go Away.